Bloom cluster, bloom cluster, bloom cluster, bloom cluster, cakey. Next up, bloom cluster, bloom cluster, bloom cluster. Bloom cluster. Okay, I know this is getting boring. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another series of Blooms for You, where I'm going to kickstart and dedicate my Dendrobium hibiki first to bloom clusters. And you know where I'm going with this because clusters are hard to come by this time of year. So I also want to be able to spread the love a little bit further out. I am going to dedicate the first two clusters of my Dendrobium Hibiki Blooms of 2020 to all of my subscribers and everybody that watches this video. And the other clusters will then go one by one to individual subscribers. Blooms are going to be short to come by for the coming weeks, maybe even months. So I'm gonna spread this out and then we'll see how we go. But for the time being, thank you everybody so much for joining. And let's go and have a look at what else has been or is still in bloom. The Orchid Nerd, hi. How about this for the fourth Banda Denisoniana Dark Chocolate Star Spike of the season. And by golly, it's going to be the last. This Banda needs a rest. She has been non-stop going since March. But before she gets a rest, I wanted to dedicate these blooms to you, the Orchid Nerd, and say thank you very much for your gorgeous videos I really enjoy your little kittens now. They are so cute. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. I hope that you keep featuring them in your videos as they are a wonderful addition to all your pretty, pretty blooms. So this one is for you. She is still going strong. You can see that the top of the spike is now not opening anymore. So it is time to say goodbye. She has to recover. She's completely bloomed herself crazy this season. So thank you very much, the Orchid Nerd. I really appreciate having you on my channel and I hope to see you on your next video. Boom, or what? Here is a reason to be very happy. First of all, this is a Phalaenopsis Yin's Black Eagle. Second of all, it's from Schwerter. And third of all, it's correctly labeled. Until I'm proven otherwise, this is correctly labeled. So Niter 06, I am ever, ever so happy to be able to say this first bloom of a Phalaenopsis Yin's Black Eagle in my collection goes to you for being on my channel saying thank you ever ever so much and I just couldn't be happier look at this look at this color I am absolutely blown away and her fragrance is wow um, let's think bubble gum skittles candy floss all kind of wrapped into one your favorite candy you open the bag and it's like, ooh, inhale, please. Niter 06, I am super, super happy to be able to give my first bloom of Phalaenopsis Yin's Black Eagle to you as a thank you for your support here on my channel. I want you to know that it is really, really appreciated. Thank you ever, ever so much.
How about this for a spike? Oh, wow. This is the Tulumia Golden Fire. First time ever to bring out a spike. DJ Shop 189, are you still with me? I hope so because I really, really want you to see this video. I want you to see that these blooms are here for you. To say thank you so very much for jumping onto the channel so early on. I really appreciate it, especially since the videos in the beginning are always a bit, little bit of a rough little hiccups here and there. And to be with a channel so early, it's, um, it's very, very much appreciated. So DJ Shop 189, there you go. That is Tulumnia Golden Fire, first time blooming. And I think it's a very, very fitting name. I have her in my Tulumnia typical setup of a little wire basket and just lava rock. And she's doing really nicely. One of the strong ones. It started out very weak, but it has since picked up. And look at this now. Absolutely gorgeous. So DJ Shop 189, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Tulumnia Golden Fire, all yours. One more time. I can do this one more time with my newly named Epidendrum or Steady Eye. And Reef Keeper too. Because there's two, they are for you. Haha, <laughs> how'd that work out? That was pretty good, wasn't it? Reef Keeper 2, I have then my final duo of my Epidendrum or Steady Eye to give to you. For the last videos, it's been no ID, no ID, and I am very grateful for Todd's Tropicals and Terry from TD More Than Just Orchids to identify this Epidendrum for me. That was supposed to be a Nocturnum, but it arrived as an Orstedii and I am so much happier for it because it blooms oh it blooms so much I have been able to dedicate one two three and now for you reef keeper two the fourth spike so I'm very very happy to have the Orstedii as opposed to the Nocturnum but here she is still with her gorgeous citrusy fragrance that smells in my climate during the day, which is extremely refreshing, considering that we are getting quite warm now, early morning, and it is already 30 degrees. So it's Scorchio. Thank you, Reef Keeper 2. I appreciate having you. I sincerely hope you see this video so that you know that you have been acknowledged and your presence is super welcome. Thank you ever, ever so much. Now let's step back and have a look at the whole thing, including resident fern. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that when it's time to repot, but we shall see. For the time being, Reef Keeper, these are for you. Guess who's back? <laughs> if I didn't have the nodes, I would have lost count by now. Thank goodness for bloom nodes. So I've taken my Sologeny Lime Bay outside. I'm going to try and film her this way. For you, Tatiana Schroeder. This is my 11th Sologeny Lime Bay bloom. And quite, quite incredible she is i am super impressed but because we've seen so much of her i thought maybe a change of scenery would be nice because look we're gonna see more of her <laughs> i'm uh, i'm very happy i've always wanted a sologeny lime bay with several spikes because they are sequential bloomers this is what happens. It is now July and she just keeps blooming. So if the next one starts, we will be blessed with this one for a very long time. And there can be more and more dedications as the blooms progress. So I hope nobody's getting tired of this. 
Tatiana Schroeder, I thank you so very, very much for being on my channel. And I hope that this is all a little bit in focus because she's absolutely gorgeous. I'm impressed. Tatiana Schroeder, thank you ever so much. Sologeny Lime Bay, Bloom 11 is all yours. This one's going to be fun. Yes, it's my Phalaenopsis Cornusuri Chateladay, which I call Lady Chatterley, just for keeping the entertainment factor up. And that is the first name of the channel. And my Lady Chatterley has traveled very far to be here with me. And that is the second name of the channel. And since she's been with me, she's also had a taste of life. That is also in the name of the channel that I'm dedicating this bloom to. And she's had quite the adventure. And she's come out through the other end. Look, I do apologize to entertainment, travel, and taste of life adventure channel that I cannot give you the three blooms at this point in time, at least to show them. Bloom one has already faded, bloom two has been dedicated, but the third bloom here is for you. So let me try that again. Entertainment, travel, and taste of life adventures. This Phalaenopsis Cornusuri Chatela Day, third bloom is for you. Thank you so very, very much for being on my channel. And I'm going to link your channel below because certainly there is a lot going on. I really, really appreciate having you here with me. Ta-da! On a day like this, I really think or feel that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Minus the state of the plant, of course. <clears throat> yes, this is my... Fragmapedium Garen Weaver with its first bloom ever. And I'm so happy to be able to share this bloom with Leia Purty, your little jungle. You can take a screenshot of this bloom, Leia, frame it and put it in your little jungle so that you have another bloom to add to your collection. How about that? Leia, thank you so much for being on my channel. I really appreciate it. I appreciate our communication in my comments, on your videos. I really, really enjoy seeing your collection and how things are coming along. So my little Garen Weaver has a first bloom open. There are two more buds to come. And the state of the plant is improving. The last time we saw her, I was repotting it. And it's only had a little bit of a drink of a fertilizer since then. But the new leaves are coming out clean, which is great news. So let this be a lesson to anybody else. I thought I was in a warmer climate. It's going to grow much faster. It's going to need more fertilizer. No, on the contrary, do not let this happen to you. Too much fertilizer, there is a, this is not bug damage. This is all heavy, heavy fertilizer. And I was at 300 ppm strength. So now it's had a flush with fertilizer and then the next day I flushed it out with normal RO water. And it, the leaves are starting to grow out clean. Look, here's another one. This is giving me a lot of hope. So warm climate has nothing to do with the culture habit of the Phragmopedium Garen Weaver, but it bloomed. Leah, there you go. I have a picture following this to thank you. Like I said, take a screenshot, frame it, put it in your collection to add to your display. <laughs> Thank you, Leah, for everything. I'll see you on your next video.
So I just sprayed my Dendrobium hibiki down. One is to up the humidity and two, I think I saw little aphids were trying to enjoy some of the buds and I just blasted them with some RO water. Still warm enough in the day. It's going to be all right. There's no issues in doing this during the summer. I am so happy to see these psychedelic colors back. I really enjoy them a lot and they are going to be around for a long, long time. You see that little guy there? Come here. You're welcome, but not on my plants. See another one there? There's other little critters that like to enjoy my buds, but I'm not having it. That is my Dendrobium hibiki coming onto its own. So pleased, so happy, and I hope all my subscribers enjoy what they're seeing here with the blooms opening. And I hope that you enjoyed this edition of seeing some other blooms, some new blooms, some that we already know. And I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.